What is going on, everybody? So recently, I played Until Dawn on my ROG Ally and my Lenovo Legion Go. And just saying that sentence, playing Until Dawn, the PC remaster on a PC handheld, let alone two, is surreal. I've been wanting Until Dawn to be released on PC for more than 10 years. And it's hard to believe that it's been 10 years since that game came out. It's been exactly nine years since the PlayStation 3 exclusive was released. East. And now we have the PC version. And chronologically, by history standards, of course, the PC version of a PlayStation exclusive has a lot of issues out of the gate. But I'm here to help you guys play, successfully play, with little to no hitches or issues, until dawn on the Lenovo Legion Go and the Asus ROG Ally. Now, I am more than halfway done with this game because it just recently came out, and there are a lot of games releasing this month that I still haven't got around to playing because, well, I've been busy with schoolwork, my job, and, of course, YouTube. But from the six hours that I've played so far until dawn, has only one issue that I can't seem to fix. Every time you press the right bumper, the game seems to crash on the status screen whenever you try to close it with specific characters. I believe the characters would be Chris, Sam, and pretty much every other character except for Hannah. But if you are having issues with the game crashing on startup for either the RG Ally or the Legion Go, then I have an easy fix for you. All you have to do is create a shortcut of the main EXE if you don't have this game on Steam. But if you do have it on Steam, all you have to do is go to the properties, go to where it shows target, and type in dash DX11. This will force the game to play the DirectX 11 version, as well as if you use a shortcut for the GOG version or any other third-party version you may have of this game. All you have to do is create a shortcut and in the target at the very end, put a space between the path and type in dash DX11. And this will essentially do the same exact thing that typing in DX11 on Steam does, which is launching the DirectX 11 version instead of the DirectX 12 version. But if you want all of the bells and whistles of the DirectX 12 on your RG Ally and the Legion Go, there is a more extravagant fix for this. If the game is crashing, then you'll have to go into Device Manager, into your Display Adapter, disable your Display Driver, and then re-enable it. And that seemed to have worked for me for the DirectX 12 version. Now, if you want this game to have FSR 3.1 with frame generation, then there are a few tools you can get on Nexus Mods that will allow you to install that. And I'll have those details in the description below. With the download link, all you have to do is sign in or sign up to the Nexus Mods website, and you'll be able to download anything on that website for free, including every mod such as the original soundtrack, splash screen, and a lot of other tweaks that the community has fixed the PC version of Until Dawn with. But essentially, one of these mods will give you the ability to enable FSR 3.1 and frame generation. But yeah, that's about it for the fix for Until Dawn on the Legion Go and ROG Ally alike. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a good one. Later. Mm -hmm.